Hey everyone, I'm currently installing the Aerosport Products overhead console in the plane. I gave Jeff at Aerosport a call to find out all the steps I need to take to make sure I get the best possible fit. Uh, after talking with him, he had a number of hints and suggestions, and I wanted to walk you through all the process that I'm going to follow. Uh, the very first thing we need to make sure is that we've got the tail cone top skin in place. Um, the front edge of this top skin actually locates the baggage bulkhead. Um, the baggage bulkhead is actually pretty floppy, and that's the piece that is going that the overhead console is going to fit snugly against. So that needs to be firmly in place and in position. Um, so make sure you get this top skin clean coat in place. The next thing we need to do is align the overhead console with the cabin top. Uh, in the back of the plane, the easiest way to do that is to take the baggage bulkhead here and find the center point. You can measure off a couple of the screw holes or the corners of it it's, and just mark that on the bulkhead. Um, you can see I also have a piece of tape on the overhead console itself with the center line marked out. Just line those two up and I'm using just a spreader bar to hold that in place temporarily. Here at the front of the cabin top you can see I've got the center line drawn out. Um, I was able to find that just by measuring between the openings of the doors. Um, I pulled that line forward, wrapped it down around, and then used that to locate the overhead console in the cabin top. The other way you could locate the front of the overhead console in the cabin top would be to wait until you finish the door openings. Uh, my doors are prepared for the McMaster seal, and in doing so you cut most of the lip of the gutter off. Uh, that gives you a good point to measure in and make sure that you're even on both sides. One part of the overhead console that may need to be trimmed is this jog where the cabin top goes from the thicker front part to the thinner rear part. Um, there's two ways this can be done and it depends on your cabin top. Uh, Vans makes them all a little bit different so this is the spot where when it's tight against the rear bulkhead this needs to be massaged to make sure you have a perfect fit. Um, in my case, since I'm going to be painting the overhead console, um, I don't need to maintain the look of the carbon fiber and I just simply cut off the flange in that jog. Um, if you were concerned about if you want to clear coat the carbon fiber and have it look nice and, and you want to see the carbon fiber all the way up to the edge, uh, the other thing you could do would be to sand down the, the back of this jog here. Um, and then also you can sand thinner the flange on the overhead console itself. One other option would be to sand thinner the overhead's rear flange where it meets the baggage bulkhead. The other part of the overhead console that needs to be trimmed is this forward edge. It comes from Aerosport with a fairly large lip that could accommodate uh, you know, various cabin tops. Uh, but what I did in my situation is I just cut that whole forward lip off and I'll smooth that in place with some filler once I epoxy the console to the cabin top. Um, uh, I also cut out the little spot where the center post rests against the cabin top so that's there's no carbon fiber in between the center post and the cabin top um, and in fact the opening here gave me a real simple way to figure out where I needed to to match drill the center post into the cabin top that uh, that pocket you know located that for me so I was sure that was centered and in the correct location. Once I've got the overhead console all trimmed to shape and located where I want it on the cabin top it's just a matter of match drilling through the flanges of the console into the cabin top and clecoing it in place. Um, when you're match drilling you want to make sure you don't drill all the way through the outer surface of the cabin top. You just need to get that first inner surface to give that Cleco something to bite onto to hold hold everything in place. Um, once it's Cleco in place I'm actually going to take the cabin top off of the plane and set it on a workbench upside down. Uh, that'll give me good access when I bond the console in place and I'll actually have gravity working with me instead of against me. Um, to do the bonding you're just going to use a mixture of epoxy and phlox um, and once that's cured and everything is nice and secure, um, I'll go back and blend in the flange to the cabin top using some fiberglass tape and some uh, epoxy micro mix. Uh, when everything's said and done, it should look like the console is part of the cabin top. 